These kids were rescued from animals that wanted to eat them. Horrifying video from 2016 showed a lion cub pouncing on a baby. The toddler screamed in terror. The incident happened during the taping of the Mexican program Conseil de Mujer. The cub's trainers eventually pulled the animal off the child. Look how big it is! In 2023, a gator closed in on a troop of Girl Scouts swimming in a lake. A witness said the 14-foot alligator was in total attack mode. During the ordeal, grown-ups hustled the kids to safety. I was really scared. Scouts Wren, Delilah, and Kylie were in the lake outside Houston, Texas when the gator crept up to them. My mom screamed and then everyone on shore starts screaming that there was an alligator. Then I just look over there's a giant alligator. <laughs> the alligator is like right there and I was right here. The only thing I could think of was to get between them so if the alligator did go after somebody, it would go after me. When the local sheriff arrived, the beach was closed. This is a designated swimming area that for decades people have swam at. Nicole took this photo of the gator later that day. He was still lurking about. We are the Gator Girls! From 2016, when Paul Santamaria was eight years old, he was attacked by an alligator while vacationing at Disney World. He still has the scars. While he was feeding ducks at a pond, the seven-foot gator pounced. It hit me, knocked me down, and then turned its head and grabbed my leg. It was thrashing me around and trying to pull me into the pond. Paul, his brother, and sister fought for their lives. My sister grabbed me under the arms and started to have a tug of war with this alligator. And my brother had started to look for anything he could find to throw at it or hit it with. And with my available leg, I started kicking at the alligator's head. Paul was hospitalized for a week. Mickey Mouse and Snow White visited him. This laceration here had a, um, it actually had a tooth embedded in my thigh, which was pushing on my artery. In 2020, a 14-year-old recovered after getting attacked by an alligator. It happened in Florida when the teen was splashing around near the edge of a lake with his mom and dog nearby. The alligator reportedly bit him on the hand and foot. He was flown to a hospital in Tampa and treated for a fractured leg. Florida wildlife authorities use the opportunity to warn people that alligators are more active in the spring and summer. When you are near or in any body of water in Florida, including sometimes salt water, there's a very good chance that alligators may be present. So you just need to make sure that you're vigilant and keeping a 360 degree awareness of your surroundings. The 10-foot gator was later taken to a gator farm. In 2023, Gabriel Kilmes got attacked by an alligator, then calmly called 911. Yeah, I can walk. I just got bit by a gator. And what part of your body was bit? Uh, like my my right hip. I'm okay though. I can walk and I can stand. I'm I'm fine. It just it just stings a little bit, but I'm good. The 13-year-old was swimming with his buddies at a local creek in Winter Springs, Florida, when the gator snuck up as he was getting out of the water. He just took my my like leg and he pulled. He tried to pull me back in. And then I grabbed the stick on like the sand and then um, I started like hitting him and then he let go. Where is the gator right now? I don't know. I, I got out the water as fast as I could. And then I just walked all the way to the nearest house. And you said you walked away from uh, the creek. Oh yeah, I, I ran. Okay. I just thought to like, to just stay calm and just get away as quick as possible before anything worse happened. The mom spoke to Les Trent. You're his mom. Is he normally this calm? Sure is. That's exactly how he is. Even after the fact, even through the hospital, the ER, it just hurts a little bit. This is the alligator that is believed to have attacked Gabriel. I feel just like relieved and thankful because like I could have not been here right now. In 2021, Charlie Buell almost lost his leg after being attacked by a crocodile. He, his mom and brother were on vacation at Club Med in Cancun. Charlie and another vacationing teen went to play on this deck. They were sitting on those stairs when the animal struck. A crocodile jumped out of the water and grabbed my leg and pulled me in the water. It would just shake me and I couldn't do anything. It would just, it could do whatever it wanted. It was so strong. Hotel staff came to his rescue. They were pulling my arm and kicking the crocodile in the eye with like their heel and poking its eyes. I was at a restaurant right nearby 
and someone came up and told me, your son has been attacked by a crocodile. I literally just, you know, went like this through the restaurant, pushing people over. Charlie was rushed to the local hospital with injuries so severe, doctors thought he would lose his leg. He spent four weeks in the Cancun hospital and surgeons were able to save his leg and the hotel paid for his medical expenses. It was like a miracle that I'm still alive, that I still have my leg. In 2018, a mom called 911 when her daughter was being stalked by an alligator. My daughter's stuck in a freaking tree. There's gators surrounding her. 15-year-old Jordan Broderick was floating on an inflatable tube at a popular swimming hole in Florida's Ocala National Forest when a huge nine-foot gator zeroed in on her. She grabbed a tree branch hanging over the water and pulled herself up. She's in the tree. She got in the tree to get out of the water. There's gators on land and in the water right on her. Oh my God, please hurry, please Man, I Jim Murray has more. The menacing gator swam in circles, hissing and snapping at the teenager, waiting for her to fall. Her anxious father, watching from the shore, did his best to scare the gator away, but the beast did not move. We can't get her out. Please, she's 15. How far out into the water is she? She's like, I don't know, 500 feet down the water, but it's not in the lightning and everything. After 30 minutes, a deputy arrived, stepped into the water, and the gator tried to attack him too, forcing him to shoot the animal dead. There's gators surrounding her. Please hurry up! In 2019, a pit bull pounced on six-year-old Mason Lindemann while he was playing in his driveway with friends. The pit bull escaped from a neighbor's home and attacked, clamping his jaw down on the boy's head. The boy's friends ran for help as Mason struggled to break free. Suddenly, a teen came to the rescue. He heard the boy scream, ran right into the path of danger, and deliberately diverted the dog's attention, giving the six-year-old kid a chance to run home. He was also attacked after losing his sneaker and falling to the ground. He's got a bruise under here still, and he's got a small scratch there. He had to get staples in the back of his head. He was just very scared, really shook up. I could see how terrified he was. I was standing about like right here, and the dog came in running. His mom says she's grateful to her neighbor, Grant Brown, who sprang into action. To me, he is a hero. I'm glad you're okay. Grant suffered bite injuries to his hand while fighting off the pit bull. The dog was right on top of me, so I tried to grab his throat and it bit me. I did manage to get back up. Thank you. Well, I don't think I'm a hero. I just think that I did the right thing. In 2022, a coyote attacked a two-year-old girl and tried to drag her away. Dad Ariel Eliyahu quickly jumped into action. He's definitely the hero and I feel like he really saved her life. I don't know what would have happened if he wasn't there. Jim Murray has more. The dad picked up his daughter at preschool and drove her home. When he got her out of the car, he went to the other side to retrieve a toy. Alone for just a split second, the coyote made its move. <laughs> dad grabbed his daughter from the coyote. When it looked as if the animal was returning, he picked up a water bottle and threw it. Dad then handed his daughter to his wife and made sure the coyote wasn't coming back for more. Mom Shira has seen coyotes in the neighborhood before, but never thought they'd attack. Actually, the same night, it came back here around 9 p.m. The same year in Connecticut, a five-year-old girl had a scary encounter with the raccoon when it latched into her leg and wouldn't let go. I was going like, and then tried to do that, but I could step on it. Mom Logan McNamara did what any mama bear would do. She got between her daughter Riley and the raccoon. I grabbed it by the scruff of the neck. It was growling, it was snarling. I think that mom instinct just kind of kicked in and adrenaline took over. She even had the composure to warn the neighbor. It's a rabbit raccoon, get down! She tried to throw it off, but the raccoon wouldn't let go. She tried again and sent the raccoon flying. He was vicious, he absolutely wanted blood, and I knew if I had just dropped him, he was gonna come back up and start attacking me. In 2019, five-year-old Christina was skipping and playing in her driveway when a coyote spotted her. She had no idea the animal was stalking her. The coyote followed her, Christina eventually turned around and realized what was going on. The coyote chased her around the tree. It was a really alarming scream. No one in the family has ever seen a coyote in their neighborhood outside Chicago. 
She said, a coyote chased me and I felt its fur. And I was like thinking that can't be. Mom looked at the video from the surveillance cameras. It's very disconcerting to watch um, that he stalked her, that, you know, it was kind of like a horror movie for me. <laughs> he intended on making her a meal. It's terrifying to think. In 2016, a six-year-old was attacked by a 25-pound raccoon. Clawed into the kid's face, and he's biting the kid's face. Danny Walls was nearby when he saw the animal jump into the kid's back as he was walking to school with his mom in New Jersey. That's when he sprung into action. And I started whacking away at that raccoon. I killed the raccoon. The kid jumped up. He was screaming. He was crying. There was blood all over the place. I was so emotional because I imagined that that was my son at that point in time. The little boy later recovered in the hospital. In 2019, seven-year-old Zach Bromley was lucky to be alive after being attacked by a cougar in his own backyard. I thought, dear God, my kid could die in front of my eyes. His mom, Chelsea, was credited with saving him. I see this, this animal on my child, and at first I didn't even know what it was. I realized it was a cougar, and I just I jumped on the animal. So I reach in and I try and I, I'm pulling and pulling. I'm trying to pull the jaws off his, off his arm and he's a very strong animal. Zach suffered gashes on his head, neck and arms. His mom snapped this photo of the cougar in the backyard of their home outside Vancouver, British Columbia. The seven-year-old had four siblings and told mom he was glad he was attacked. He said to me, mom, you know, what if it was one of the younger kids? He said, I'm I'm one of the stronger kids. She's the mama bear. I mean, I'm bowing my head because she did it all. In 2016, this dog Shiloh saved an 18-month-old baby from a snake attack in Tennessee. Bryson was playing in his front yard when a copperhead snake charged his feet. And then it dawned on me that he literally grabbed that snake from the feet, you know, near the baby's foot. The courageous pooch sprang into action to save his buddy's life. The Lord spoke to me and said, I protected this baby. I'm, you know, I, I put this dog right there to protect your child. In 2023, a seven-year-old came face to face with a black bear while riding his scooter. The bear approached the boy. Without panicking, the boy stared the animal down until the bear stopped in his tracks. Then out of nowhere, a neighbor appeared with his arms raised. He fearlessly approached the animal and engaged the bear in a game of hide and seek. The neighbor pursued the bear from behind the car until the animal finally got spooked and ran away. I think most adults even in that moment would have perhaps panicked or run away or, you know, not everybody knows what to do there. So I'm super proud of him. Oh my God, the bear! In 2018, this grandmother saved her grandchild from a bear that scurried across her lawn. <coughs> Missy Halls was watching 16-month-old Blake when it happened. She was looking over to the side and I thought, what is she staring at? And I turned my shoulder, I turned my head a little bit and looked and I thought, oh my gosh, what is that? And then I really turned and I was like, oh my gosh, it's the bear. This was just way too close for comfort. He literally was less than 10 feet away and walking towards us, which really frightened me. This is the only little bear that we can have now, right, Blakey? Oh my God, the bear! Ah! From 2018, this is the aftermath of when 13-year-old Keen Weber Hayes was bitten by a shark while lobster diving. Rescuers dragged Keen to shore in a kayak after they heard his screams for help. They say the shark chased them, trailing the scent of blood. Keen is really special. He's really neat. He's very brave. He's very strong. He's a warrior. I just want to tell him that I love him from the bottom of my heart. And I... I'm just proud of him. Afterward, Keen had no fear of getting back into the ocean. He said, Mom, the chances are so much more slim of a second bite. <laughs> in June of 2024, Damiana Humphrey was splashing around in the ocean. Suddenly, she felt razor sharp teeth biting down on her hand. One of my younger brothers, she screams, a shark. I was freaking out that I was gonna lose my fingers or my hand. Lisa Guerrero has more. The 19-year-old was on vacation with her family in Galveston, Texas. As soon as she realized she was being attacked by a shark, she started fighting back. And I was like, oh no, I'm going to be the next soul surfer. I was like, oh no, like that's going to be me. What am I going to do? I got to my dad and that's when I started screaming and crying. I could see the, the wound and I told Damiana not to look at it. 
But did you look at it? <laughs> yeah. The shark severed four tendons. My hand is in a cast, so I can um so I can't move my wrist or my hand at all. Her first instinct when she got bit was to protect her siblings, to get them out of the water first. We think you are very brave. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendell.